the story of Menasha is a universal story. Even though the film is in Yiddish, even though the film is about people that most of us know nothing about, the themes, the motifs, the, the heart of the film is something that anyone can understand. Because I come from the documentary tradition, I want to find a real person and base a story on their life. So while I was researching for this film, I found Menasha Lustig and um, heard a story about him. And he really is this widowed father who lost custody of his son. <laughs> I spent the last 10 years working in documentaries. I've traveled the world. And after I traveled and, and did so many projects abroad, I just realized that there's worlds in America that are just as unknown and foreign to us. And, and my goal with filmmaking is always to take the unknown and make it universal. This film takes you into a world that, that's rarely seen on film. It's a world where, where most people don't have smartphones. It's a world where most people do not use the internet. It's a, it's a world where everyone wears the same garb, where, where men are kept separately, where there's signs on the street that say men on this side, women on that side. It's a world that, that, that feels off-putting at first to a lot of people, but actually is filled with warmth and humor and, and incredible characters. <laughs> Authenticity to this film was incredibly important. Some of the producers in the film are Hasidic Jews themselves. We had buy-in from the community. It was so important for us to actually shoot on locations in Borough Park. Some days we're shooting on 400 millimeter lenses, so the whole world of Borough Park appears to us before our eyes. We wanted to shoot in the streets, we wanted to shoot in the actual shuls they go into. None of this film was done in a studio. I mean, this is actually a film in the community and one of the few films ever been made that actually has all real Hasidic Jews speaking in Yiddish. Most cameras are not allowed in there. Even documentaries are barely made about the Hasidic world. So it was so interesting for me to actually go in there and do something that's never been done before. It was a joy to make this movie with a cast of mostly non-actors. It was their first time acting. It was my first time directing. It was really a give and take to try to let them be themselves and the same point for me to bring it down to this naturalist drama. We constantly had two cameras going so that these actors could be in the moment and not worry about repeating lines for us. We always did global lighting so that the actors could move their blocking and change the blocking. We had an incredible system on set where first we do the scene in English, let them walk through it, we'd all be on the same page. Then when they switched to the actual performance in Yiddish, it was a, for them it was doing it fresh again from the beginning. Then we had a translator in another room who was live translating for us in an earbud, so we knew exactly what they were saying and if there were issues, we would do it again. Hasidic Jews are my cousins, are my brothers, but they're completely different. They live a world apart. And I, I thought that this film was a way to explore and learn about them and to share their stories in a way that hasn't been shared in the past. Yeah, let's get some.